My name is Lucas O'Hara. I am the owner of Grizzly Forge, and today we are gonna go over the care of high carbon steel blades. So most blacksmiths, we all use high carbon steel on our blades. It holds an edge a lot longer than stainless or a lot of the other steels. The problem with high carbon steel is that it can flash rust pretty quickly, meaning if you put it away wet, if it has moisture, anything like that, very quickly it can pick up rust on the surface. If you're gonna spend the money that you need to spend to get a handmade knife, there's a little bit of care and a few little tricks that you can do to make sure that blade last, looks good, and you don't have any issues with it in the future. I like to use food safe oil, so if you go onto Amazon and just type in food grade knife oil, a lot will pull up. You're gonna drop it on there, take a rag, and you're just gonna rub that oil across your blade. And I do this anytime I've used the knife. I always like to clean the blade completely, wash it down, use a good rag to dry it off, and then apply that little bit of oil. And it's gonna last you a lot longer and it's gonna maintain that look. You know, I want these to be used, but you also want it to still look nice. So a little bit of oil, making sure everything's nice and dry when you put it away. And that's essentially the biggest part of care that you need on a high carbon steel blade. So I've had this knife for a couple years now. I use it quite regularly. If you look on the blade, there is a little bit of a coloration. When you're using it, especially on food, skinning animals, anything along those lines, the acidity in it will add a little bit of a patina, but that's part of the blade aging. But if you do happen to pick up flash rust, you forget to maybe add oil to your knife. It's really simple to fix. Um, you can use uh, actual stuff that removes that. This is a knife safe one or something just like WD-40, a little bitty spray of WD-40. And then I like to use quad zero steel wool. And all you have to do is throw that on there. And if you have flash rust on that blade, this will take it right off. And it'll even remove some of the patina over time. Dry your blade off, add your little dollop of oil, and now your blade is good to go. It's ready for storage or to go right back on your hip. So now that we've gone over the care of the high carbon steel, worrying about flash rust, worrying about drying it off, how to properly store it. The other big thing that a lot of people don't think of is like, what is this knife intended for? For instance, this is a skinner. Most of these here are skinners and can be used as skinners. I would not want to take this knife and baton a piece of wood. They do make knives out of all purpose. This one is a little bit closer to that. I have a little bit of a steeper bevel on it. These two will shave right away if I were to put it on my arm and shave it. This one, I could use it to baton because this is more of a bushcraft style. So just knowing what your blade is intended for and just keeping it in the realm where it belongs uh, is a pretty good key to live by when you're using one of these blades. When it comes to sharpening, the biggest advice I could say is just know what that knife was intended for. If it's a skinner, I'm gonna have a much steeper bevel. You're gonna get a much more razor fine edge on it. Um, you're gonna be using stones, rods, uh, and if it's a chopper, you're gonna have more of like a 45 degree bevel. So not as sharp, but that edge is gonna be a lot more robust for obviously chopping, going through wood. So just know what your knife was intended for and try to keep that in mind when you use your hand sharpener, a stone, rods, tormac, belt grinder, whatever you use, just remember, I wouldn't wanna put a razor edge on an ax and I definitely would not want a 45 degree angle on one of my skinners. Hope this information helped you guys kind of understand where these knives come from and how to maintain them. Thanks for stopping by.